Hey, welcome back to Site Tech Intermountain, SiteWorks training videos. Hey, in this video, I wanted to do a follow-up of a video that I created on staking boxes, um, specifically drain boxes. Um, in that video, I felt like by the end, someone would probably have said or thought, hey, why don't you just create points in Kogo? And that was always the intent, is the last video I wanted to show how to be able to stake this box right here. Uh, by using just the functions from the main screen to be able to use your inward outward option and to use the uh, option right here after you start staking a line the uh, line stake outline settings to be able to get your offsets how far out you want if you want to create your own actual points off of a box to create or to stake those points or lines that's what i wanted to show you in this video so Coming back to the same drain box that I had used in a previous video, if you did watch it, I want to create my own points and either offset lines from the inside of this corner of this box out for my own stakeout. And you could do this on a big scale using building corners if you need it also. So if you go into your menu at the top left here and go down to this that's called Kogo, Kogo is short for coordinate and geometry. There's a couple different options in here. There's review and edit data and create points and arcs. In the creates, create points and arcs option, there's a lot of different things in here. If you're new to Kogo, don't worry about it. There's just icons on the left here. Each one of them, as you click on them, would actually tell you what it is at the top or just simply you know, click on it and look there. The other one that I would say if you're new to Kogo is over on the right side, there's a question mark right here. If you click that, that one gives you kind of an icon help, an option for what each one of them represents. So let's dive into this. There's a couple different ways to do this. No right or wrong. Everybody's got a different way that they're going to want to actually accomplish the same thing here. If I'm going to use the inside corners of this box right here, because it's one continuous line when I stake it, I have some options over here. The very first one is actually this endpoints of line or arc. So I can go ahead and click on the line right here and it will automatically, it, so if I back out of that and hit this, whatever side of the line that I hit, it's going to kind of isolate that for me already right off the bat. So I can go ahead and just click this one, this inside corner isolates the corners. You could leave this as entire line or segment, we'll leave it as the segment right here. And you can go ahead and hit accept. You could name this the inside corners leave it as measured points or stakeout points you could do stakeout points actually go ahead and hit accept okay so now you can see that we've got the two points there that are actually created the other option is the next one down underneath the end points of line arc is offset points from line now you can go ahead and pick this and it's going to select the entire thing that's where you'd want to use this icon to the top right this plus and actually isolate those two corners right there. You can isolate those and then go ahead and hit accept. So it has a line defined now. It would have, if we had one that we didn't have to define, you could have just picked it. Now we can hit next. And at the top here, you can do point and interval or you can just do line nodes only. That's the one I'm gonna do here because I'm just doing a single line off of it. So here, now that I've isolated that, I could put in a, let's say a five feet. But pay attention to the way the arrows are going, because if I just put in a positive five feet and hit enter, you can see that it creates them on this side, and that's not the side I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and put that as a minus five because of the arrow or the length, excuse me, the arrow direction. Now vertical offset, this can be changed between slope, rise, run, degree. I usually just leave it on vertical. I'm not worried about the elevation as much of the box right now, so I'm going to leave that just to stay vertical straight over. So I can go ahead and hit that and accept that and call these, you know, the five foot offset measured points. Go ahead and hit OK. Now it's created me some points over there. I can do the exact same thing for a 10 foot offset if I needed to. I could leave it on this line that I'm on and then go ahead and put in a, uh, let's put in 10 foot if you need to stake two different offsets out there. So now you can see I've got five and tens out there. So go ahead and five foot and change that to, uh, oops, 10 foot offset. 
just giving you options, just showing you stuff that you can go ahead and create and go out to the main screen. Now you have an actual point to go stake. And the reason why some may like this is if you actually stake that point, unlike the video I did before where you have to kind of watch the inward and outward, is when you have just a single point that you're staking, you when you get within six feet, have this bullseye right here to get you right on that point. So now you could just use this, not have to worry about a stationing or an inward outward. You're just trying to get on it, and then you can go ahead and put the hub in the ground and give it the cut fill, which is not $41.95. I, I know that's off a little bit. The other option to just do a line string off the side of that is to go back into Kogo, create points and arcs, um, and you can do this offset line, create an offset line. So maybe what we'll do is pick another box that I've got. Uh, let's do this little tiny one here. We'll do a 5 and a 10 off to the side right here, not in the flow line, obviously, because they're going to dig it out. So I don't have a line to define or to tap to actually pick because if I do, it's the whole line. So here again, I'm going to isolate two corners of this box to create that line. I'm going to hit next, and then I can make it a feature line, break line, any of these, but we're just going to leave it a feature line, and I'm going to give it a line name. I'm going to actually make this one the five foot, and then the horizontal offset. Same thing, look at your arrows, which way they're going. So if I want to go this way, I want to just leave that as a positive, and I'm going to leave my vertical offset at zero. So there's an offset line there. I could leave it here and then do the same thing and put this as a 10 foot if I wanted to make two different ones uh, at this point. So that's another way to actually create the same exact thing off of those exact boxes. Then I could come over here and stake this line. Oops, I hit the point. I'm going to go ahead and stake this five foot. You can see here I'm going to stake that line. So now it's the same game of. Just setting up on the uh, end of that line right there. Now you do have an offset option or, a, excuse me, a design station because it is a longer or an actual line string. You don't have the bullseye anymore. What you could do is select that and actually stake the point because that's the line, as you can see, is an option here or the actual point. So you could go to that option and then stake that point. And then you go back to a bullseye. So... Whatever, whatever floats your boat out in the field, whatever your preference is, everybody's going to come up with doing a little bit different. But I did want to show a video on how to use Kogo to create these points and arcs off of boxes. And there again, this would be the exact same thing if you were going to use a building corner. So I could go into my settings here and into my layers, and I could just turn on all my layers so that I actually see the building footprint. We could zoom out and come over here to the building. And you could do the same thing with this. Let's turn off one thing in the layers, the uh, measured line work in the background. This gives you the same option to go into Kogo, um, review and edit data, and actually use the building corner if you needed to, to do the exact same option all the way around. So you could go to set offset points or offset line and actually do it the same way that way. But we'll do more Kogo stuff like that in the future. So thank you for watching this video from Site Tech Inner Mountain, uh, SiteWorks training videos on using Kogo function to offset points and lines off of a box.